Well, some exciting news has approached the North Vancouver Wolfpack and several other teams in British Columbia this morning. The Wolfpack are excited to announce their commitment to becoming a Tier 1 Junior A program after becoming a Tier 2 Junior A organization earlier today. BC Hockey has announced a new pathway for Junior A Hockey in British Columbia and the Yukon for the upcoming season. This transformation sees all Junior B teams from the CUNY International Junior Hockey League, KIJHL, the Pacific Junior Hockey League, PGHL, the league that the Wolfpack play in, and the Vancouver Island Junior Hockey League, VIJHL, commit immediately to an enhanced player experience and increased grassroots engagement as part of a reclassification as Junior A. This is an exciting step for North Vancouver, an exciting step for several other teams in BC as well. And I'm delighted to have Dean Sampson, the Wolfpack CEO, on the line. Dean, the BCHL has been in the news a lot lately, especially earlier this year. How has that impacted teams like the Wolfpack and other Junior B teams who are now Junior A Tier 2 teams across the province? Talk to me about this. How exciting is it? I want to know more. BCHL leaving is is creating opportunities, I think, for obviously for all the, the Junior B teams to, to move in to that niche. But it also means that the higher level of hockey is going to be now played in North Van. It's going to give more BC-born players an opportunity, which I think they're losing uh, through the BCHL. They're going to bring in international players, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So more BC-born players are going to be available to us. We're going to have expanded roster. It also means that we're working with the WHL, uh, in terms of developing officials, and it's you know there that's someone we want to work with, and I think that'll uh, long range that'll really help us. I think the junior A template is one that we've always tried to operate our team under, so I don't think it'll create any great um, changes for us. But I'm looking forward to seeing what it's going to do uh, to our league and all the leagues. KI and the, and the VI. Well, you bring up the KI and the VI. Those are you know teams in that league that you really don't see unless you're playing preseason games against them or you're playing in the championship against them. So how exciting is it going to be for you to one day eventually uh, hopefully see your team competing against other teams that aren't just in the PGHL? Well, I think, yeah, I think that, that long range, I mean, I'd love to see the, the Wolfpack representing North Van playing in a national championship at the junior A level. And I think that that is, well, had maybe been something that was beyond our reach. It was something we could hope our, our players might evolve to. I know I think it's something our organization can aspire to. And, uh, and that involves playing teams from other leagues all right across the nation. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. If I'm still alive when that happens, I'll be even more excited. <laughs> It says uh, cooperation and engagement with independent advisory board to help evaluate these teams that are now Junior A Tier 2 teams in order to determine which ones will make the cut to the Junior A Tier 1 level. Do you have any idea what they're going to be looking for, or sort of what the requirements are to get to that next level? I think that's still up in the air right now. I, I'm not sure. Uh, we're still going to operate under the same business uh, uh, model that we always have. So for us, I don't think it'll be... I think they just want to come in and see, well, you know, what's your budget? How are you doing? How are you treating the players? That kind of thing, which we've always tried to aspire to. We're probably going to have to try even harder now. But I don't, can't really speak to what exactly uh, they're going to be looking for. And my last question, Dean. Do you think you're going to notice the, the impacts of this, the effects of it uh, immediately? Or do you think it's something you're going to feel later down the road in terms of your team becoming now a Junior A team and the Junior A league that once was no longer existing? Well, I think the immediate results are still up in the air, but I, I think, John Carlo, that with the Outlaw League now taking kids from Europe, and they're also taking uh, they can have underage kids from out of province, they can have other kids from North America, there's no really restriction on their roster. There's going to be fewer opportunities for BC kids in that league, and some of the kids that might have played there will now bounce back to our league, and I think that'll make our league stronger. Down the line for the organization, yeah, I think... Uh, in a few years from now, it'll be a, a tremendously strong week. Awesome. Thanks, Dean. I appreciate uh, you doing that. That was Dean Sampson, the majority owner of the North Vancouver Wolfpack, sharing his thoughts on this new development. Dean, a pleasure as always. Enjoy the rest of your summer. We'll be back to talk hockey in September. All right. Thanks, Don Carlo.